It is Steve and Stacy. It's called the Greater Des Moines Water Trails Plan. You know, we first told you about this a couple of years ago. Back then, it was really just a dream. They say now it will be a reality. $117 million plan, as you mentioned. Now we know where they want to build and what they want to build. As Sky shows us, rivers are a beautiful amenity in the metro, except that few people do more than drive over them. But a massive new water trails plan is designed to change that. We have this great resource, but there's no way to access it. Christy Nows is the president of the Community Foundation for Greater Des Moines. She and other Des Moines leaders have been working for several years to turn a dream for Des Moines waterways into reality. To really activate the waters, the, the rivers, and get people's feet in the water. Here's a look at some of the plans. We've told you about the Center Street Dam High Energy Adventure Project downtown on the Des Moines River. It's the crown jewel of the water trails effort. But now we're learning more about other proposed features across the metro, including the Fleur Drive Dam Learn and Plan Project. It's a Raccoon River parking area, island, and rapids for smaller watercraft like surfboards and whitewater boats. It's more of the beginner level experience, and it would be great tie-in to the development that's being proposed on the, in the Gray's Landing but also all the tie in with what's existing at Gray's Lake. This is the nature connection at the Scott Avenue Dam. It includes better shore access and boat launching. Farther east on the Des Moines River, the plan calls for improved parking in a more formal access area at the Harriet Street boat ramp. A similar parking area and boat ramp is planned for the Raccoon River along Southwest 63rd. Big improvements over the muddy trails there now. In all, there are 86 spots in Des Moines and the suburbs slated for the new water features. If we can bring the amenities that we want to bring to this project, this is a game changer in terms of business attraction, talent attraction, and really making this a quality of life initiative. Now, planners say it will take a couple of years to get all the permits from the Army Corps that controls all this river space and also to raise that $117 million. They want public and private money to do that. By the way, if you want to see more details, perhaps make a donation. They're having some meetings noon and 5 o'clock on Thursday, January 21st. That's at the Register Community Room at Capitol Square. You can see all the plans, see how it's going to work, and perhaps help move it along. We're live on the Des Moines River downtown. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.